Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Long Oak Farms. Whew. Folks, I am tired. Oh, I am. I do this every time. And okay, I hope that didn't show up. And I hope that didn't show up. Anyway. How y'all doing today, folks? Yeah, I got uh, notifications from Instagram and Facebook, and, and I should have never hit allowed. <sighs> oh, wait, wait. I'm going to park this back here, and uh, John from the dealer said he would pick it up. I just got to call and tell him it's ready. Uh, all the tops have been removed from the sugar beets. And, uh, matter of fact, he's over there waiting for the truck, so we got to hurry up. We got to hurry up. Let's see, let's start over here. And, uh, I think it'll work out better. But, yeah, um, how y'all doing, folks? Um, other than besides Lily and physical pain, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Let me explain. It's kind of a laughing matter now because I'm not hurting as bad. Well, I got up at 7 o'clock. Well, I got up at 5.30. Uh, got the kids ready for school and all that good stuff. And uh, I decided, you know, mom, my mom took them to school. She had a doctor's appointment she had to go to, too. So I just figured I'd stay. But anyway, um... I'm going home for the day. Return tomorrow. Oh, my lord. Okay, well. I'm going to increase the time here by five. Shut him off. And we got a semi-truck around here somewhere. I got everything lined up. I brought it all back home to the shop. But we got everything here. That needs to be washed and some of them needs to be refueled. I need out of debt. Ooh, the dryer's going. Need to get some liquid fertilizer down here so we can have some seeds. And we're going to start grass here pretty soon. So that's another thing. But one thing at a time. Right? That's how we do it. One step at a time. Oh. <sighs> But yeah, I, I'm just wore out, folks. I don't want to sound like it. I don't want to complain. I'm not complaining to those that thinks I'm complaining. Uh, I needed to get out there. You know, I, I, I need to get out in the yard more. And I need to mow the yard more than letting it get the size of a jungle. Matter of fact, check out my Facebook page. And... Uh, but it's a couple days in advance. So, ooh, let me squeeze through here first. Then I can't talk and drive too. Hey, wait, I just did. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to start a waypoint. No, 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 no. Not recording. Minus that. Uh, da, 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 da. Farm. Farm to sheep. And we'll just have to catch it when it gets there. And uh, make that turn. Let's see. There we go. But anyway, anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. I need to get out in the yard more because, uh, one, if I mow the yard more, it's more exercise for me. And, you know, there's a... Uh, man. More exercise means I'll be more healthier. Oh, we got two pallets of wool now. We're going to have to get a front loader down here. We got... Uh, attachment we just need forks okay we just need some forks or auto load trailer one or the other but anyway uh when i get out when i do feel like mowing the yard you know and if it's dry enough it's about a foot tall in some places but go check out those pics on facebook and you'll you'll understand uh, but, uh, anyway, I sprayed most of it a couple of weeks ago when it was dry. And this guy is full. 
we're gonna have to wait on the truck. But uh, ah, yeah, we gotta do that too. Sorry, folks, I don't mean tab through all these, but get back to my sprayer here. But uh, anyway, yeah, I should have scooted it over. But what I do, folks, when I'm doing this, instead of having to hit this and move all these to get it where you want, line up what you think would be right, hit new, hit this, then do the auto with, and you'd be good to go, you know, like spraying like this. But yeah, uh, I sprayed a couple weeks ago uh, around a few things and biggest part of the yard and stuff like in the driveway and around the driveway areas. and So it wasn't too big of a deal. And uh, well, I went ahead and mowed that because, you know, it's about four inches tall. It was dead. Could have been a fire hazard. So I went ahead and mowed it chopped it up real fine if it does catch on fire you know it's only a quarter inch tall or maybe a half inch tall so i done that this morning started about seven o'clock got the spots that was dry wasn't too big of a do last night uh, i got the front yard uh the north side the middle uh south side don't never grow it's maybe just weed and all you have to do because all the trees um, I gotta keep an eye on that truck. Let's see, let me stop here. Truck. Okay, we, we got enough time. He's just going across the top of her. But, um, I got to the back and around the shed and stuff was fine. I just mowed it real quick. It didn't take about two minutes to get it. But on the south side, East, southeast side of my property it's like a jungle it's probably 12 feet by 30 feet it's not very big but it's taller than a lawnmower push more and that's what I'm using too is push more and uh, I finally got it down you know I uh, went across most of it raising the lawnmower you know the, the front wheels off the ground just the back kind of doing like a willy and um done that let it dry went smash some cans come back did a little more then i smashed some more cans it, i had to do that like four different times and it took me to like 12 o'clock uh probably like between 11 30 and 12 and uh but i didn't get all that mode no nope, i had a, a four by four piece something like that four by six got it down about a inch tall you know just fixing to do the final cut where's our truck at now i might have enough time to get this over there to the other field actually i think this grass is ours I might need to fertilize it too. Might need to make a field boundary. I don't know if there's a field boundary on it or not. It should be. Yeah, it's fertilizing. You can see it there. Alright, well, this is going to be a, a bigger measure than I expected then. Uh, let me go ahead and stop this. And that was rough on a motor, wasn't it? Just killed it like that. I try to be realistic, but I right, stop driver. Close this out. And we're going to go right through here. Now I've been putting the potatoes or is it sugar beets? I think it's sugar beets. I've been putting the sugar beets in the storage because the price is low right now. Plus, we're going to need some if we have or get pigs. And pigs may come way later in the episode, folks. I mean, I mean, in the series. Way later in the series. Um, 
they really if you buy like 10 you'd have to keep them so long in order to pay off for their sales now if you had about 200 of them it works pretty good so you can shut that off we're going to go over in this I don't know how long the episode's going to be folks we're going to oh, have to wait there yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit more into getting in on the right side of the tractor and stuff like that Yes, all right, baby fired up good. Let's get this R box. It looks safe to unload. And I need about three more minutes, so I'm going to pump a time up here just a little bit. It's about 701. Yeah, I completed his task, all right. All right, that's going to take a little bit to unload. Have y'all, uh, in case y'all new to this, the series, uh, we got a 8370 RT, and I, I I love it. It's got the narrow tracks on it, but yet it still does crop destruction. So I wish there was little like a little bit over there. We can uh, actually spray or something with this thing. But this the the sugar beet harvester. Uh, you do have to mow the tops down uh, before you use this thing. So, but it's still, you know, it it beats the two or three meter wide one. And this is what I like the most about it. Look at those duels. Look at those duels, folks. It's awesome. Oh, oh, we are done unloading, and we should be able to hire a worker. And there we go. Who's going to be the lucky one? World War Three Gaming. Welcome, brother. Appreciate you coming out. Uh, don't make no mistakes. But, folks, we only got from there to there. And we are done with the sugar beets. I was wish. Oh, oh, I left the lights on. And see, 18,000. I guess I'm just going to leave it here. Ain't gonna take him very long to get full, so let's see. Uh, I thought about getting rid of this tractor, so I'm just gonna put about half a tank of fuel in it. Um, we need to upgrade. I don't want to upgrade too big, too fast, but of course, you know, I'm 30,000 in the hole almost, so All right, that should be enough there. Um, do y'all like? For like, would y'all want me to wash? I've already washed the baler in this tractor. This ain't moved out of the way yet. Uh, I've washed that. I washed. I, oh, I got hung up there. Wait, 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 wait. Is it, no, no, that's the bell spike. Okay. Uh, yeah, I washed. I washed the combine pretty good, but I didn't wash the header there, as you can see. It's still got some dirt on. Because we're going to have to use them again, folks. That one's dirty, too. Ah, uh, yeah. That's how bad they was. But I noticed uh, some of y'all on the other channels, y'all like for people to wash. And then some of y'all don't. So, y'all are my family. So, tell me down below, how would you feel? Would you want me to do more washing on screen? Now, I wash them off screen quite a bit. Um, a clean tractor is a happy tractor, right? But I don't want to bore y'all, you know, standing here washing and stuff when uh, y'all want to actually see more runtime with the tractors and stuff. Speaking of runtime, let's uh, get that and yeah, let's just uh, sit in here for a little bit and watch him. World War Three gaming drive this thing, uh, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about a few things. If I can remember, I just went blank. I, I hate that. Be sitting here and wham. I don't know, folks. Uh, I know I was talking about the yard. I don't know if I finished it or not, but just to rephrase anything. The uh, the lawnmower 
hit a rock and all that junk. You know, I got down to about an inch of grass, tall, probably about four by six or four by four square spot left to mow. And kapow! That blade looked like an L when I raised the mower up. I'm like, oh, well, that went to that. And there's my phone. Ding dong. Man. I am good. As long as that wasn't a, a fire call or anything. But anyway, yeah, I turned my lawnmower into a garden tiller. Literally. I went to pull the rope. You know, I, if I hit something, I always pull it back and uh, roll it back and forth a couple of times, make sure whatever I hit's out from under it. And then uh, he's going to be full. Let's go ahead and hop in the truck. Well, I did that. But you know, I had it raised. And he's sticking his pipe out. Hey, he's on the right side again. Awesome. But um, I went to pull the rope real easy. You know, I don't want to start it. I just want to make sure the blade's going to turn. And I felt the lawnmower go sideways. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and uh. Yeah, see, that's an, uh, another thing I don't like about these pool-type harvesters like this. You have actually... Ooh, I need to turn my speed down. Get over here. And, and hit that. And you see, you don't have no options to unload, so you have to fire the worker. And Oh, I'm hitting the wrong one. Uh, manual pipe unload is safe to unload and R. And there it goes. But yeah, uh, I went to pull the rope. Well, I more went sideways. I'm like, uh oh. So I raised it up, looked under there, and it's bent down. And that was about two inches below, or no, about four inches below deck. There's a 20 inch blade, so probably eight inches of that was down pointing down oh but I got a few old blades laying around so I'm going to check they're old so I don't know might not be the right pattern or anything but folks look here we are almost done with this field and while we're waiting real quick I'll tell you what let's wait till he gets done unloading and then I'll hire a worker back and you know if I was using the contractor mod or I think that's what it's called we get eight eight guys or or, or four four to eight and I hire a worker back and I got granny monster hi hey, granny monsters driving I hope you're doing all right miss granny but anyway while she is driving that we're gonna take a look at our fruit types and stuff real quick uh, field 30 is potatoes and field 29 is corn and 20 is sunflowers these two involves a corn header and this involves us renting another piece of equipment so when we get done with this piece of equipment we're going to send it back and then um, yeah so we're only thing we got left over here to do is mow 24 and 14 but I really really truly would not like to do that because we're fixing to put seasons in but as soon as I mow this it's like just like that it's grown back and ready for to mow again but um, I don't know we might mow some for chaff I don't, I don't know but we get um, this field finish and these three finish we're going to put in the season mods, folks, and we're going to run seasons. But uh, I do have the Wolverine sitting right here, as you can see. That may be at next episode. We're going to cut this tree line right here back some. Tell you what, let's go look at it real quick. That's what it's going to be. We're going to cut all those right there back to where it starts getting thick again. Um, Kyle and Julian, J Metal, Mystery Yankee Outdoors, 
all of them come in here with chainsaws and help me get all the bad stuff out. So now all we got to do, and Bama Girl Amy and uh, Tricks, Trick, Tricks, Chicks, that's tongue twister for me, I'm sorry. And uh, a few other YouTubers down below in the description, folks. Hint, hint, hint. Uh, they came out and out and helped me. So now all we got to do is cut the money part. And I can't remember. Oh, by the way. Uh, uh, wrong button. Wrong button. I'm on. I want to store. Store. Auto save. There we go. Um, I need to go to. I need to go to garage. A little slow there. Um, I want to go to least. Okay, we can take this in and have John come get it. Uh, I want nine tenths of an hour, so it ain't that ain't too bad. Okay, John, will come get that, and then he'll come get this also when we get done um, with the sugar beets and stuff. So it shouldn't be. Oh, look at there! Is he gonna hold all up? No way! That's our last load. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see, go down. Grope. Let's zoom in here. Folks, we are done. This is the last through. Hallelujah. Woohoo. I am so happy. Well, we get this thing unloaded, we can send it back. We need to bring a plow in here. I don't know. Okay. He is done. Let's see here. They're going to get... Yeah, there goes the pipe out. Make sure I get on the right side of the truck this time. I hope I left that truck running. If not, I left the lights on. Alright. I don't want to... And by the way, thank you Granny Monster for coming out driving it a little bit it helps a lot even if y'all just do a, a few rounds let's see here safe to unload so we're unloading our last bit of sugar beets uh, I don't know if it tells how much we got in yeah it does good 94,000 plus this load that we got now that's, that's not bad since it's going to take a while, let's go back in here and compare. We got, well, that's, okay, you can't sell that, so. Potatoes, we only got one place to sell. And, oh, oh wait, here's sugar beets. One and one, okay, we got, okay, equal price, so they're pretty round about the same price. Uh, one place each to sell so uh, I do have another sale point I could put in but I think I'm just going to stick with what I got oh no oh. I see turn on harvester no I guess I have to put pipe in before I can fold Oh, I can't fold it up because stuff's in there. All right, let's stop this baby right here. And we got to take this load back to the farm and then come back again. I knew it was too good to be true. And I did leave my lights on. Oh, man. Uh, but anyway, folks. 94,000 plus 47,000 and what was left in there. Uh, yeah. Y'all do the math. Uh, I'm gonna go sheep. What is it? Sheep to farm. Yep. 
that's what I've been using I need to get an offload point here made I really don't know how I want to do it I think this field here is going to be all grass and uh, it'll be for the sheep we need to put a um, I just don't know put a loose straw or a bell storage place Right, let's see what else we can get done real quick. Oh, I need to look and see if our crops are ready. Yes, folks. Well, 29's ready. 20 ain't. We can go harvest some corn. So next episode, we'll probably have the combines over here. and getting ready for harvest. And plus cutting some trees up. So... Let's go ahead and turn this on and I haven't been only time I use him hired if it's uh, fast forward time a lot and uh, I just usually just do a little bit like that one other thing now we get out of this thing for good we're gonna check our animals 53% uh, is 11,000 so they probably could use a grass bale and we need to get some stuff over like our cows. Go ahead and start filling that up too. So let me hop out. See if I can lift this bell here. Uh, kind of heavy. Ooh. Uh, 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 oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could pull that much more. Okay, what did that put them? Okay. I'm going to leave it like that. I like to add one bell at a time. It'll get down about 50, about 35 to 50%. That way I don't fill it all the way up. Because if you fill it all the way up, it's going to leave grass out here and it won't go back in because there's no room for it. Hey, Sally, how you doing? Oh, okay. You hungry? Oh, look at those crowds back here. I hope they're going the other way. Hey, Bubba. But all right, folks. I know y'all probably want to see. Oh, yeah. We got to bring some fuel and put in our new fuel tank here. Um, I'm going to end it here in next episode. 6,000, almost 7,000 liters. Ain't that something? I'm going to get a little bit closer up here. Well, I'm going to let y'all have it here. Go ahead and end the episode. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get the combines up there to uh, what, fill 19. And uh, I'm going to get this uh, back to John so we don't have to pay another day or night or any hours on it for rental. Plus, I think there's another guy that's wanting it. And, um, uh, where's our truck at? Okay, let's go ahead and hop in our truck real quick before we go. Because, uh, I can't remember if I put it in or not. But right up here is our chickens. And,. To place a mod down, that place anywhere mod is awesome, folks. Because if it wasn't, this thing wouldn't be as level or even as it is right now. I had to turn it a little bit and, and bring it down. I didn't bring it down quite enough, but if I brought it any lower, you wouldn't be able to see the markers. But uh, yeah, I got this up. That's one reason why I'm in debt. <laughs> But as you can see, they're going to need some more crops. I think I got a little bit of barley in storage. It might bring a straw bale up here. But right now, we're just laying eggs. I like to produce, get it up to at least 50 chickens and start producing eggs. Or 100 chickens and then start producing eggs. We've been making them some money then. But uh, yeah, but that's uh, the chicken coop I put in. 
Uh, this is very uneven ground, as you can tell. Uh, who lives here? I'm going to find out. Down below in the uh, comments, put who would you want to live here, folks? Who would you want to live here? Like J Metal, Colin Julian Vlogs, or even Miss Sandra from Soul Food Net or Soul, Soul Food Queen .net or something like that. All down below in the description, folks. Uh, also, my, my uh, media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. I'm thinking about start doing Fortnite on Twitch. So, um, let's go ahead. You can go ahead and hop over and subscribe if y'all want. I really don't know how Twitch works all the way. So, if I say something wrong, please correct me. But uh, I want to start doing Twitch because they say you make some a lot of money over there. I know it's not about money, but it helps. I want to... I, let me try to find the truck while I'm talking. I really want a higher-end PC. Because one I got now, my frames per second is low. Y'all seen that. And... I just want to be able to make good quality videos for y'all and a higher end PC with more memory and graphics and all that would definitely whoa slow down mr. blue I'm trying to look at my tablet here get my course set back all oh, this is a tight squeeze But uh, I do have a donation link for that. Uh, I got two actually, GoFundMe and uh, PayPal. I prefer PayPal because with PayPal, it's a whole lot much better. Can okay, I fit through here? Oh, there's my phone again. That's ah, probably boo this time. But anyway, folks, I'm uh, yeah, the GoFundMe accounts, PayPal is a whole lot better. Uh, less transaction fees and stuff is sucking out because GoFundMe and uh, all these others cost a little bit more. It's not much, but you know, every cent counts. But folks, I'm going to, y'all seen what was left in the, the tractor, right? If not, go back in the video and look. I want to fix it to show y'all. I know I done said I was going to stop the video, but I just want to show y'all. Four, three, two, one. Oh, what happened here? Wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. A hundred and forty-one thousand liters of sugar beets. Probably about a hundred and forty-five thousand total. So that's not bad off that one field. And just think about those potatoes. Oh my God, those potatoes. Anyway, folks, appreciate each and every one of y'all. Are all are amazing awesome group i love to have y'all called my family still the subs that's why i refer to y'all as is my family because y'all are e each and every one of y'all is a different part of my family a lot of aunts and uncles huh maybe co cousins ones that don't comment very often is the cousins hey <laughs> but uh anyway i gotta get off here i'm gonna get this truck going back over there get the rest of them and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Later, folks.